everybody, welcome back to another adventure with me, Erin. Today we'll be playing Ghost Truck again, of course, and uh, let's continue with the story, shall we? Very interested to see what happens. Okay, so we are now here, and uh, we're at the telephone. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, do the only thing we can, shall we? Bailey. Okay, so we already listened to this, but we gotta listen to it again uh, for, uh, you know, complete completion's sake. But, uh, try pinning up your memos a little better next time. Let me see this thing. Yeah, this was about the curry guy, you know. We've already heard this, so I'm gonna skip it a little bit faster, I'm sorry. If you uh, didn't see this already or you don't remember, just check out my last episode. Uh, pretty much at the end, where uh, we already discussed this. I don't see the point in doing this all over again. Something with a flamethrower. Yeah, it's a little bit strange. And then he wanted curry and rice, and then the rice was too spicy, so our curry was too spicy, and then he just, uh, you know, did it again. Sorry, I really don't feel like doing this all over again, so. Bloody yeah, yeah, bloody yeah, yeah, bloody yeah, yeah, bloody yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so uh, of course he throws it away again. Bailey goes ballistic, and uh, arr, go. Okay, stop throwing away my important duty memos. Okay, and here we are again. This is where we left off. So let's uh, be our ghost seal self again. And the only thing we can actually do is uh, well, let loose of the other memo. So let's do it. See what I have to say about this one. Hey Bailey! There we go again. Now something different, so here we go. What's the matter? You can't even pin up a memo properly? Well, he can, but I let it go. Let me see this thing. Prisoner C38 to the telephone room. Yeah, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. You already told me that earlier. C38, huh? What the heck did that punk do anyway? You never heard the story? About the secret rendezvous case? Oh, well, this guy knows everything, doesn't he? Secret who? C38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of their encore, there was a huge incident. Well, was it a murder or something? In a way, it was even worse than a murder, because it had to do with national secrets. Huh? National secrets? Rock band? I'm lost. Yeah, me too. The song they were doing called, was called Secret Rendezvous, but the lyrics C38 was singing were completely different from usual. So how is that a huge incident? Because the new lyrics expo exposed all of the nation's dark, seamy secrets. Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, everything. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. Seriously? The case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How could a rock singer know about any top secret information? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't you just ask C-38 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. You know, that seems to be the, the key word here. National secrecy this, national secrecy that, everything. Hmm, yeah, exactly. And there he goes again, and Bailey goes, ah! Sorry, it's funny. Would you stop throwing away my important duty memos? Oh. I don't know. Anyway, uh, oh, another pin note. Well, let's see here, our ghost little cells. Um, yeah, just one thing, I mean, it, it is kind of weird, isn't it, that, um, you know, all of these things, they, they seem to be connected to each other. It's interesting, though. Okay, let's uh, head up towards the memo, and uh, let's see what's on this one.
Hey, Bailey! Oh, there we go again. Okay, let's have a look-see. Let me see this thing. Bring dinner to prisoner D99. Hey, that's the prisoner we really wanted to check out. The chef is preparing it for him right now. Ooh, how fancy. D99, huh? I even know- even I know about this one. Oh, he knows something. Yeah? Such a sad case. Hard for us, too. He shot his wife, didn't he? Right in front of a family member. Oh, wow. But according to Lin, he didn't do it. This is awful. Why in the world did he do it? Well, according to Lin, he didn't. Why would he do something like that, of all people? Motive, everything. All a complete mystery. You know, mystery seems to be a key word around here, too. It's just ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. Why would he that he would do anything like that? I don't know the details, but apparently... This case is a matter of national secrecy as well. Wow. Seriously? This is getting annoying for a curious person like myself. I don't get it. None of it makes any sense. No, I have to agree there. You know what kind of prison this is, don't you? A special prison, built just for these kinds of special cases. That D99, who knows what he's thinking, or hiding, behind that beard of his. I don't like any of them. You know, me neither. I knew I couldn't take my job seriously without it getting to me. So the prisoner I'm looking for, D99, was convicted of murder, huh? Apparently, he has a beard. Yeah, well, that's interesting. Oh, come on, Bailey, don't be such a pussy. You must get used to it by now. Okay, so now what? Oh, there he goes again, one another memo. It's time. Oh. <laughs> the way that guy walks. That must be the punk rocker. Okay, time for me to head over there. Huh. Interesting. There. It's done. New info has been added. Interesting. So that'd be our ghosty cells, because we gotta get to the other side, so let's use this memo to do so. Hey, Bailey! Yep, there he goes again. Okay, well, he's gonna say something, but uh, I'm not waiting around for that. Ah, oh, that's too... Boy. I see. But you quit sending these memos over here. I'm sorry, I was a little bit too fast. No! Huh. Not until I figure out how you always know exactly the instant the memo starts falling. Not until I solve that mystery. That is actually a good question. Arrgh. Next time I will find the answer next time. Yeah, next time gadget, next time. I guess it's time to find a new path. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, let's do a trick here because uh, anything else isn't gonna, going to be working. Just to kind of excite me, I need to wake me up. Well, I told you, it's for emergencies only. Don't play with it. And I told you, it wasn't me! You know, I thought this work would be a lot more exciting. You know, I've heard this conversation elsewhere before. <sighs> Billy, <laughs> It's still funny, though. Well, you better know. I'm sorry. I'm all tired. And you ought to know, I'm just kidding. Grrr. Yeah. So let's see if we can do anything with this uh, new path. Oh yes, because now that the goblet's on top we can go this way. So let's have a look-see here. Um, can press this button. Oh, you have something to say. Guessing that's the kid they were talking about. Yeah, I guess so too. The one who sang National Secrets. If he's a prisoner, he must come from the cells. Yeah, so we have to go over there. So let's open the door so we 
can get a little bit closer and we're gonna have a little little ride on his guitar I can't seem to get to this phone though which is strange but I guess that's just not the way to do it so this is the thing that was making that horrible noise a second ago <laughs> wow Sissel must be an old guy to not appreciate a good rocking I guess this is a way for that spiky haired youth to express them himself. Himself. Sentiments like I'm hungry or I'm thirsty, maybe. Something primitive like that, I bet. Why would he say something primitive? I mean, it's not that. Peace out. I'm done. Okay. Let's go then. Back to your cell. Hey guard man, how about giving me a little space? That crazy walk of yours is dangerous, man. Well, he's kind of true. Proper walk for a properly led life. Now let's go. No, no lectures, man. I walk my own path, my own way, to my own music. I don't know, it's just a kind of thing. You know, what I really don't get is how can he produce electric guitar sounds without a uh, amp? That's what I'm wondering. Okay. So I finally made it to the cells. Now to find prisoner D99 and check out his work schedule for tomorrow. What could Lim possibly want with that information? Ah, uh, that is a good question. I am curious about that too. Damn. Don't think I can take another second in the stinking pit. Looks like Guardman's gone. Okay. All this waiting is wiping me out. Hope this one will finally do it. Okay, so he flushes this paper that says O on it. Come on, sausage head. Okay. Hmm. This prisoner obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. Prisoner D99 has a beard. There's one of those little blackboards Lynn said would be in the cells. Maybe I should check out Spikey's schedule for tomorrow. Spikey. Huh. Well, let's do that. So this is one of those little blackboards Lynn mentioned. Let me just give it a little read. Hmm. Tonight. I lost a lot of things. My life. My memory. But there is a certain skill I've apparently lost too. I can't read! Oh! Well that's gonna be a problem if you want to find someone's schedule. I can't see there's some kind of writing on the blackboard. But I have absolutely no idea what it means. If I can't read Prisoner's D99's work schedule for tomorrow, what do I do now? I don't know. Let's see. What am I supposed to report back to Lynn now? If I tell her I couldn't read it, she'll kill me. But actually, I guess I don't have to worry about that one too much. Eh, I guess not. Anyway, I might as well try to find Prisoner D99 still. Hopefully, I'll at least be able to find out something while I'm here. I can't go back to Lynn's empty-handed. But of course, a ghost doesn't actually have hands. Technically, no. Let's have a look, see what else can I do around here. Toilets? Ooh, a phone. Interesting. This telephone. Looks like it's internal only. It doesn't call outside the prison. So the only places I can go with the telephone are the other phones within the building I've already possessed. Interesting. Let's see. Well, this cell is pretty damn empty. Oh, I can push an emergency button. Let's do that. That'll be fun. Hmm, an emergency button. Emergency in a prison. That's gotta be a pretty bad situation. Let's give it a little try. Oh dear. What's that punk are doing over there? Go, go, go! Okay. Interesting. I cost quite an uproar, I guess. 
I bet each prisoner reacts differently to the alarm. It might be fun to watch. Let's see, if I want to change my view, I can slide the screen. Or I can use, yeah, that's, this is on the DS, but I'm on the PC. Maybe their behavior will give me a clue about my next step. Oh, would you look at that? This guy... Receives an X. Oh, he's trying to dig his way out. All clear. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So if I sign the alarm, it gets people moving, huh? Maybe I can use their movements to get around myself. That way I can get an idea of what's going on in each cell. Now this is pretty interesting, but for now I am going to... Uh, Check out if we have some new information. I guess we do about certain people. Uh, let's see. We'll probably have the rocker in here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. The rock jailbird. Rock and roller who sang national secrets during a live nationwide broadcast. He is now creating a horrible cac cacophony. Cacophony. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that word. In his prison cell. And he, it, it means a terrible ruckus. Just noise. That's pretty interesting. So we're going to save and I uh, guess uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Let's see how this uh, plays out, shall we? See you guys in the next episode. Bye!